Where are these from? Where are these clowns from? Those clowns were from a defunct amusement park in San Francisco called Playland at the Beach. Playland at the Beach was San Francisco's version of Coney Island. They actually called it the Coney Island of the West. You would put the ball in his mouth or something? Is exactly. that what it was? Exactly. The head would turn, and you'd throw ping pong balls in Yeah. Head. That's something that my brother picked when like he was really Like what time really period do you think you're from? Probably 40s. 40s, God, more. These are killer. <laughs> They're unusual. They're a slice of America that we all romanticize about that's gone forever. The American carnival. The American American Circus. How long ago did your brother buy these? He got those when Playland closed down. That would have been early 70s. The remnants of what's left of that is really a shadow of what that industry used to be. Look at those guys. So when you find artifacts from that time period in its heyday, especially scary, spooky clowns, you gotta buy them up. You know, this is the kind of stuff that's always good. What are you thinking? Just throw me a number. I mean, all I can do is say no. Uh, man, I would say probably, I mean, I think they've got to be worth about 1200 a piece. Yeah, see, I was thinking they were worth about a grand a piece. Yeah. So we're not that far apart. Right. 14 for the pair, if they're 2000 bucks. Gives me a little room. Right. Um, what if I kept one and sold you one? Ah, oh, they got to be together. <laughs> they got to be a pair. I can't they gotta separate be, B from B. I wouldn't, I wouldn't separate them. Yeah. Yeah. Two thousand. I'd do that. Made yeah, it I'd easy for you. I'd See, yeah. making it easy. For I'd do you. that. I got it. I got it. These things are nuts. Yeah. With all the things I already have in my house, there was really just no place for them. I think they're better off in somebody's collection that can really appreciate items like that. All right, there's the little man himself right there. There he is. When I first see this piece across the room, I'm looking at like a deranged Johnny Roventini because it's got a bellhop uniform on. Can we pull him out? Yeah. But as you get closer, and if you know what you're looking at, then you know it's a brownie. It's a Palmer Cox brownie. Brownies were characters in children's books. They were like uh, little toad goblins. They were known for being mischievous, but also doing good deeds. Wow, look at his face, Robbie. At the end of the day, they're like downright scary, but that's what's cool about them. Is this something you'd sell? That I would sell. My mom bought that in late 60s. There's a place in San Francisco called the Cliff House, which has been there since the 1800s. And at one point, they had a collection of these tall brownie figures. Mine was made by a company named Schoenhout. Look at him. He's anatomically correct. <laughs> He's got knees. <laughs> He's little legs. And they made large brownies for storefronts. Extremely rare. I look at a lot of this early store display stuff, and it's amazing that this exists. It's, it's art. Right. My mom had a great eye. That's killer. So what are you thinking on so him? Now, Sounds like you've given it some thought. Uh, I've seen him go at auction for six grand and over. Wow, um, but that, so if they're six super, grand, they're are you talking rare. like super clean, super perfect? Yeah. Well, all he's he's pretty much there. He's dirty, but no, I uh, know there's that. not much wrong with him. Well, his clothing's definitely faded tremendously. Yeah. 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 If you look at the this, just even the discoloration right. here and then the top of it, you know, I'm just saying that if something's gonna warrant that kind of money, it's going to be pretty damn nice. And what year is it from? From what I can see, it looks like turn of the century, mm -hmm. late 1800s. You know, I think he's at least three grand or so. Yeah, 2,500. I mean, it's not mint. Right. Mint, is, mint is mint. Yeah. yeah. But here's, here's where this falls into the category. Good stuff's always good. Right. Yeah. This is good stuff. So what's the bottom number on this? You know, I, I, like I said, I think a bottom number really is three on this. All right, well, but make I'll, me feel like I'm getting a good deal, 2,900. You got it. All right. There you go. Okay, man. This wasn't made for the consumer. This was made for display. The fact that it still exists, it's such a large size and it's in great condition. All of those things make it extremely rare. It's brilliant. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads, it's dumpster diving, it's flea markets, it's people's homes.